Hello and welcome to Minor Players, a random game in Age of Empires 2 The Conquest. So let's go. This is a reworld map, which is Britain. And as you, you can see, you've got the main part of Britain here, you've got England, which, you know, all this part here, you've got Wales, and you've got Scotland. And then over here, I assume this is Scandinavia and um, Norway. And here you have Ireland and Northern Ireland. And then down here you have France. So same settings as before. Um, 1v1v1. Uh, random civilization, so I'm Koreans. Red is General Theodomir as the Goths. And green is Celts as Athelred the Unready. Now these maps, because they always, the, the shape of it, will always be the same you don't because because of that you can memorize roughly you know what the outline of the map is and you can remember that ah yes there's a small island here might not necessarily always have gold um but and this one's got stone so it's on hard as well you can see up there let's just get the scores up now because i'm playing against ai they don't like to move villagers across to another land. They just like to keep their villagers on their own land. So, as you can see, green here isn't going to have that much stuff to start off with. And the same with red here. And so, if I show you my fog of war, you, you, as you can see, I've only seen that. And I've got six sheep so far. Uh, let's see, where's my other sheep? Oh, there's my other sheep. So, I'm just jet looking around at the moment because a few times I played this and failed. I found that one team was down here and another one was up here. So, all three of us were on here. But, fortunately this time, when I succeeded, it wasn't like that. So, let's speed things up until we get a bit of action. These places will have, for example, France down here, will have you know, various resources and the Isle of Wight here will have stone, Isle of Man will have gold, and then this is Anglesey. They haven't got Hollyhead actually. But I'm just a standard build, I'm focusing a bit more on stone because I'm Korean so I can get stone 20% faster. And in this one, as with most real world maps actually, you have to focus a lot on docks. And here's my first dock, got some fishing chips out. And how much can I see? I can see most of Britain, and I'm sending a fishing ship out to scout the waters, see what's around, because I want to know where my enemies are. And the sooner I know where my enemies are, the more I can be protected against them, because I can create a castle sort of near where I expect them to land. So I'm just gathering the resources, I haven't thought too much about enemies yet, but as you can see red is somewhat going to saturate his stuff soon, and he's in... the people just can't go anywhere, they're just stuck on this island. So green's building a dock up here, and got some docks, and they will transport quite a few people over to you, so you need to be careful that you can see them coming. So if you're the only one on Britain, I mean I can see the whole of Britain now and I can see where red is and I've got some turtle ships to take out this dock and I can see where green is. So because I've done that I can get towers up so you know for example I can get build a tower here and here but well, we can see I built a castle there already. And I've got turtle ships which are very good um, with armor, but they're not great for attack and range. The range is a bit annoying. I mean, cannon galleons, the most a cannon galleon can get is about 17, and that would be with the Turks. I, I believe that's the furthest range you can get apart from a trebuchet with siege engineers. So, this scout up here is just having a look around, seeing what you can find, and I've got a monastery here with one relic. Have I seen, yeah, I've seen this relic down here, and there's another relic here, but I don't think anyone actually gets that. 
So let's speed things up again. And Red is going to be running out of gold. Oh, he's still got some here. Oh, they're all moving. What are they doing? There we go. They're all coming in here. So if I just follow these transport ships, there you go. They're coming over here. And they get into my base. Well, oh, here we go. They wanted to attack this dock. And unfortunately, because I didn't have murder holes, I couldn't actually attack them back. And here we go. Here's my war wagons. And here comes green as well. So green seems to be attacking as well. I think I might have only just got murder holes because I realised I should have had it for that castle. But I haven't got much of an army here, and I'm. I think at this point I was thinking of quit, you know, quitting the game. But I, I just didn't really do too well at all. And green seem to be. They don't like to come in straight into your base. They like to land a bit further out. I mean, they did so here, and red like to land here. It could be that that's the closest. Oh yeah, they converted one of my turtle ships. How nice. So if we speed things up, uh, I believe I just kept these two turtle ships here to take out any um, transport ships that went by. One good thing though about turtle ships is they can quickly take out an enemy. I mean, that spearman had no chance to move around. So yeah. Let's speed things up until we get into the main battles. That trebuchet goes down. And these turtle ships... Oh. Are actually... They're, I think they're just patrolling. I mean, they're good against ships one and one. But I like uh, with ships to attack the land as well. So that's why I don't particularly like turtle ships too much. Whatever land you're on, try and make use of all the resources. I mean, there's a bit of stone up here, and um, there was gold down here, and there's some stone here, and also lots of gold here, which I'm getting. So, make good use of that, and if, for example, you're on island here, the enemy may be on here, but you, for example, you could come up here and create a bit of a base here. Gosh, we're getting attacked so much. But you could also come down to France here. I mean, they haven't got a lot of gold or stone, but you know they've got a decent amount of wood and probably got enough nature to keep you going. And you'll be able to um, build up some more resources. And I really like these real, real world maps just because of the imp. Um, well, just because. Well, obviously because they are real world. And. And, well, I, I know roughly the shape of all the things here. So here we go, I've got some fast fire ships, got some galleons, got a couple of turtle ships. And this I thought was hilarious. I believe at this point they have no more resources. So any resources they spend... Hang on, huh? Any resources they spend won't ever be got back. And so they can't create any more transport ships, so effectively they are done. And I could... Oh yeah, they could get that sheep, but <laughs> but I could I should have technically gone for Ireland first, as they have got some resources left, and there we go, just taking them out. They don't stand a chance. But anyway, you can see here I've gone on to France, and if you look at my fog of war, got some outposts around, just scouting, seeing what's around the area. And I believe my outposts cover most of it, but I've got some stone here, which is quite nice. I've got some more gold, which I don't really need. And I believe I just tried to get rid of the enemy by use of these cannon galleons. And I'm still being attacked by the enemy here, but I've got some ships down here. In this map, it would take ages for a ship over here to get round to here. So make sure you have docks on both sides of the um, island. And also, if you're on here, for example, make sure you have docks all over and make good use of going over to the enemy's land. So let's continue, and I believe I just get rid of these people. I thought I thought that I'd be able to take out all of the all of green through this, but I don't think I was that lucky. 
What are these? They're just cannon galleons, okay. You can see they're just going. They're still being attacked here, and I've, here we go, I'll start to attack, and I've got cannon galleons to attack the towers and castles from a distance and any military buildings. And I've got all of these here just to take out any docks that were around here, and there is one. And wonder what this is going to do. Where are you going to go? Well, maybe that 200 swordsman is covering it. Anyway, that's a bit confusing. But back up to green. I've got rid of m most of their stuff, so I do need to go up there later and sort them out. But I might have more of a chance of getting rid of all of red. I mean, I can actually see the whole of their island. I mean, that I'll be able to see with cannon galleons from here. So you can attack the whole of this island through cannon galleons. Um, I mean, I've only got actual cannon galleons as opposed to elite cannon galleons. So there would be a way to do it. And oh, here we go. And I'll be, where is it? Here we go. Is that fisherman there? Who I just didn't see before, and I was really confused. And I thought maybe they'd gone over to another island, but it turned out they hadn't. And I thought maybe I've got to get rid of all these buildings, but there we go. And that's them defeated. And now for red, they've only got these villagers and two petards, and this villager here. And so I take on some onagers, got some onagers here, and I just thought I'll just take out the enemy by use of these onagers just to have a bit of fun. But um, I think it's just her left. And I've got spies, so I can see where the enemy is. And it's always worth getting the spies, because instead of spending ages trying to find that last person that's stopping their team from being defeated, spies will allow you to actually find them. And because I've got... Sh oh, there we go. I've got Shinky... Shinky... Shinky Shon, meaning I get an extra two range, so I can see a bit further with those onagers anyway. Siege onagers. So that's Britain, and I suppose the main things to say is make sure you're on many different lands. You know, don't just stick to being on one land, for example, here. You know, come up to here, for example, or, you know, the very tip of Scotland, or even France. And, or you could even have a wall barricading here and get yourself some gold and food and some wood. So don't restrict yourself to one area. And wherever you are, make sure you have docks in many places. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next part.